To begin, I just want to say to all of our graduates, and I know that this is echoed throughout the entire college, um, we are just so proud of you for what you have accomplished, especially this last year that has been just bananas. Uh, you made it to the end of your degree, and that is an incredible, incredible feat. It takes a lot of endurance and it takes a lot of energy. It is something that can be really stressful at times and very difficult, but you did it, you made it. And that is something that you should savor and that you should really enjoy and um, be sure to take some time to really enjoy this accomplishment. This is something that you will always have that can never be taken away from you for the rest of your life. This is something that is yours. And so please take a little bit of time to enjoy yourselves and to be proud of yourselves for this incredible accomplishment. I do wish all of our graduates all the best. I hope that you are able to live with dignity and beauty and purpose and that you can be uh, a part of the community in which you live and be a force for good. That's what uh, we hope for all of our graduates for St. Thomas More College. I don't have any real uh, nuggets of wisdom for you other than continue to be open to learning. Your journey is not ending, it's just beginning. Uh, and I hope you can face it with openness and courage and curiosity like you did while you were a student. I just wanna say a huge congratulations on making it through and in a pandemic nonetheless. So you should be very, very proud of what you've accomplished. Um, celebrate with those you love safely when and how you can. Um, and really embrace this next phase of life. There's going to be ups and downs and challenges and just know that you, you can handle it all and you will do a great job in you know, your next degree or your job or family life or whatever it is that you are taking on next. And I guess my big, biggest piece of advice would be keep what's important to you truly important. So kind of don't let everything else that's going on kind of cloud your vision. And again, I'm a big fan of um, enjoy and celebrate. So please make sure you can really be proud of yourself and enjoy this moment. Take some time to celebrate this accomplishment. It's no small feat to graduate from university. Be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you and congratulations. Yes, I have lots of well wishes for them, and I hope that, uh, you know, I wish you blessings and all your future endeavors. Congratulations, graduates. You're awesome. And we will be thinking of you and praying for you in the future. So, and now. And then uh, in terms of advice, I think the best advice um, is to remember to be, uh, to, to have that, that core value of perseverance, uh, to never give up and... Um, I know when I was talking about pounding the pavement after my arts degree, I was looking anywhere, just please, <laughs> any place that I could have a job uh, that didn't include washing dishes. So I was, you know, I was going everywhere. And I have to say, I remember one, I went to, I went to the bank and they were looking for people. And um, so I thought, oh, I've got an arts degree, I'll apply. And um, I had not, no knowledge of banking or anything like this or, um, I barely went to the bank because I didn't have any money. Anyways, they, uh, they, they said, oh, I said, oh, I, I brought my resume. I see that, the, you know, I'm just answering your one And they said, um, would you have any experience at the bank? And I said, I said, uh, no, I don't. And they said, oh, well, sorry, we can't receive your resume. And this was after a whole day of, of, of giving resumes at the places. And, um, and they said, no, I can't. I said, could you just take it and put it in the recycle bin? And they're like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> So I'm not saying don't be discouraged because we all get discouraged. And, and after a, a moment like that, how can you not be discouraged? But don't stay discouraged. I think that if we persevere, you know, they say in Hollywood, an actor has to do 100 auditions and 99 will be rejections. And we keep that kind of thing in mind that we know we're going to have um, ups and downs. And, and even if with the downs start to uh, pile up, don't let it get you down. I think that, you know, uh, you kind of just shift your thinking. I started collecting my letters of rejection and <laughs> yeah like wearing them like a badge to say look how hard i'm trying and so um so uh there you know we don't know what's uh, ahead of us if it's uh work in this area or that area or more school or whatever um but don't give up just uh keep on 
fighting the good fight. And um, I think that's the best advice uh, uh, anybody could have given me. I think the best thing you can take away from your convocation is that you don't have to know everything yet. It's really easy after you graduate to think, okay, I have a degree, I should have the job that I want, I should have the life that I want. But life is a process of becoming, and it's always a process of becoming. There's no point when you're done. And it's okay if you don't have um, a really high paying, prestigious job as soon as you finish. It's okay if you're not really sure what you want to do yet. It's just a piece of your life has finished now, but there's a lot more about to happen. When you're doing your degree, you're constantly working towards this specific goal, and it's easy to feel kind of lost and at loose ends when you finish that. But you're still just in the business of living, right? You don't have that one big goal anymore, but you're still just in the business of being a person and learning more and becoming more. And that hasn't changed that much simply because you finished your degree. The other thing I would say is that don't feel stupid if you are working a crap job with a degree. I think it's really normal for us to feel that way, that we graduate, you're like, why am I working at Riemann's? Or like, why am I working at Wendy's? Or, you know, whatever job it happens to be. And the thing to remember about that is two things. First of all, when you've got a liberal arts degree, it's not like a professional college where you just start doing something because that's what you've been trained to do. A liberal arts degree prepares you in the sense that it helps you learn how to think, it helps you learn how to reason, and those are good skills and you will find your place in society, you will find your job in society. It might take a little bit longer because it's not as specific. The other thing that's important to remember is that there is dignity in work. All right. And just because the job you have doesn't strike you as prestigious doesn't mean it's not important. Right. Everybody needs to have grocery stores stocked. Everybody needs to have somebody pumping gas. Everybody needs those jobs to exist. And just because your job is not as important as you think it is doesn't mean that it isn't important in a larger sense. And it's important to not be a snob about that, right? Just because you've got an education doesn't mean that you are better than or deserve more than other people, all right? So just remember those two things. You'll probably find a better job, but even if you don't, you're still a valuable and important person to our society, and don't forget that. You are important because you're a person. You're not important because you have a particular job. And even though you're convocating and that might mean you're leaving campus, you're leaving the university, please stay connected, whether that's through the Alumni Association or even just by coming back for a visit for maybe continuing education or just to pop in and to say hello. Um, you will always be a part of this STM community and you will always be a part of this university community. And we would love, love, love to see you every now and again and to know how you're doing, to hear what's going on in your life and to see where the journey of your life has taken you. So please, please stay connected. Yeah, I feel so humbled by this group of students that's coming through right now. Uh, so often I try to think about what would it mean to come of age in a time of Me Too, in a time of the Black Lives Matter movement, in the time of a sharpening climate crisis, in a time of a global pandemic, you know, when there's been so many hard lessons to learn there, uh, when there's been so much social change, where the pandemic has accelerated a lot of social changes. Um, I remember asking a group of students what they learned from the pandemic, and there was one young woman who said that uh, she learned, she learned vulnerability, she said. She learned how how vulnerable we are and um and i think that's a really hard lesson to learn when you're in your early 20s i mean many people learn that a lot later and so this is a generation that's learning that lesson very early um maybe you'd almost have to go back to the second world war to find another generation that had to learn that lesson so early in life so while that is in some ways 
you know, maybe um, a heavy thing. I think it's also a real opportunity because when we're aware of our vulnerability, we're also aware of um, our responsibility to others, uh, of our need to be compassionate to others. Um, it builds empathy. And so um, I, I don't have any advice, <laughs> but maybe I have a request, which is that um, when you come of age, when you uh, enter your workforce, your work life, your leadership position in 10 years from now or 20 years from now, that you remember these lessons of empathy and that you put them into practice and that you lead us forward into the compassionate world that we desperately need.